This video will help you understand the features that get integrated with Service Desk Plus and the steps to integrate them. Let us first see what gets integrated before getting deep into each of those. The asset details of all the IT assets in the network. Ability to deploy software from within Service Desk Plus. User requests gets created as tickets in the Help Desk application. A unified web console of both Service Desk and Desktop Central. Let us first understand how asset integration works. The desktop central agents residing in the client computers will collect the asset information and updates it to the desktop central server, which then updates the service desk plus server. Now, what it takes to integrate IT asset data with service desk plus. You should be running both service desk plus and desktop central in your network. Desktop central build number should be 70,017 or above. A service desk plus build number should be 7,601 or above and you should be running the professional edition. To set up the asset data integration, you have to configure the service desk plus settings in desktop central. Click the admin tab and select service desk plus settings from the left pane. In the configuration screen, Select the Enable Service Desk Plus integration checkbox and provide the host name and port where the Service Desk Plus is installed. Select the IT Asset Data checkbox available under Features to integrate and click Save. Subsequently, whenever the asset data is updated in Desktop Central, it is automatically updated in Service Desk Plus server. Let us first understand the workflow of deploying software from Service Desk Plus. The Desktop Central Administrator first creates the packages of all the software that can be deployed in the network. The package information is updated in Service Desk Plus periodically. Now, when a Help Desk technician receives a software deployment request, they can select the Install and Install Software option from the Actions menu, choose the software to be deployed and the computers to which they have to be installed and saved. This request is then forwarded to Desktop Central, which initiates the deployment onto the required computers. The agent sends back the status of the deployment to Desktop Central server which in turn updates the service Desk Plus server. You can verify the status of the deployment by selecting the task tab within the request. The status should be executed. Now let us see the version compatibility for integrating software deployment with Service Desk Plus. You should be running both Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central in your network. Desktop Central build number should be 70133 or above. The Service Desk Plus version should be 8.0 or above and you should be running the Enterprise Edition. In Service Desk Plus, you will first create a user role that has permissions to install and uninstall software. You can also modify any existing role to enable this option. You will then create a technician and assign it to this role. Generate the key and copy it to a text editor and save the technician. It is preferable to generate the key without an expiry date or you have to update it as and when it expires. The next thing you do is to configure the desktop central settings in Service Desk Plus by providing the host name and the port number where desktop central server is installed. Then you have to configure the service catalogs to enable the install and install software option in the actions column. 
Select a catalog and click the Workflow tab. Select the Display Software Install and Install option in Service Request Actions menu and save. You will have to update all the templates that require this option in the Actions menu. Now, configure the Service Desk Plus settings in Desktop Central by enabling the Software Deployment option available under the Features to Integrate. When you enable this option, you will see the Authentication Key field is enabled. Copy and paste the key that you generated in Service Desk Plus and save. Now, the package information from Desktop Central will periodically get updated in Service Desk Plus and the technicians will be able to initiate software deployment from Service Desk Plus. Let us first understand how auto-ticketing works. Desktop Central allows the users to submit help disk requires from the Desktop Central icon in the system tray. When a user submit a request, it first reached the Desktop Central server. The Desktop Central server processes the request and sends it to Service Desk Plus server for creating a ticket. To enable auto-ticketing, you should be running both Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central in your network. The Desktop Central build number is above 70133. The Service Desk Plus version should be 8.0 or above. You can create tickets in Service Desk Plus in two ways. One is via email and the other is using the remote API. To create tickets via email, you have to configure the mail server and help disk settings in Desktop Central. Select Admin and Mail Server settings to specify the details of your mail server and save. Select the Help Desk settings and select Enable Help Desk settings option and specify the email address to which the request have to be sent. You can also update the templates for these user requests from the Tickets tab. Creating tickets using the remote API also involves similar steps like integrating software deployment. You should create a role, assign a technician to this role, generate API key and configure desktop central settings with this key. If you have already integrated software deployment, you can reuse the same authentication key. You should, however, modify the role to enable adding editing request task. Click Admin and select Roles. Edit the role that you have already defined. Enable Adding Editing Request task for this role and click Save. Now configure the Service Desk Plus settings in Desktop Central and enable the Log Help Desk Requests as Tickets and Save. You do not require to specify the authentication key again. You have now enabled auto-ticketing in Service Desk Plus. If you have not integrated software deployment before, you would have to create a new role, assign a technician to this role and generate the API key that you can use it in Desktop Central settings. Click the Admin tab and select Roles. In Service Desk Plus, you will first create a user role that has permissions to adding editing request task. You can also modify any existing role to enable this option. You will then create a technician and assign it to this role. You will have to generate an API key for this technician and specify this key in Desktop Central Settings. Generate the key and copy it to a text editor and save the technician. It is preferable to generate the key without an expiry date or you have to update it as and when it expires. In Desktop Central, 
Select Admin and Service Desk Plus Settings. Choose the Log Help Desk Request as Tickets option available under the Features to integrate and specify the API key that you generated in Service Desk Plus and save. Now, whenever users submit a request, it automatically gets created as a ticket in Service Desk Plus. Having a unified console of both the applications is advantageous in many ways. You do not have to load into multiple clients for different activities. A single technician can handle both level 1 and level 2 support. You can restrict users having access to desktop management. Service Desk Plus will be the single console that you would need to access for both help desk and desktop management functions. The console will communicate with both the applications and provide you with a desktop management menu from where you can perform all desktop management functions like patch management, software deployment, and so on. To enable unified console, you should be running both Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central in your network and the Desktop Central build number is above 7242. The Service Desk Plus version should be build number 8017 or above and you should be running all editions. To set up Unified Console, you will have to configure the Desktop Central settings in Service Desk Plus, select Admin and choose Desktop Central Server Settings. Specify the details of the Desktop Central installation and choose the Enable Desktop Management menu. You have to specify which technicians should have this menu enabled. While creating a technician, you will need to choose Enable to access Desktop Management functionality and save. You can also modify the existing technicians to enable this option. Let us see the summary of the version requirements at a glance. To summarize, we have seen the how and what features of Desktop Central get integrated to Service Desk Plus and the steps to set them up. For more details, visit our website.